Day here from the Next Issue Podcast. Today's video is a little different. I I got to go to a bunch of comic book shops today and I picked up a few things that are a little bit out of the ordinary. These are in just my every week pulls. Um, yeah, so that was fun. So I wanted to do a little haul video just to kind of, you know, show you guys what I got. First so and foremost, I was able to, I went to Keith's Comics because they were having a little event. Uh, they were having a sale. I went to the Mockingbird location and I picked up the Gates of Gotham 1 through 5. This is an old story from before the New 52 uh, by Scott Snyder, Kyle Higgins, and Trevor McCarthy. This is some of like their first work on on DC. Uh, it's a story that I love and I wanted to have it in single issues because uh, I don't think I have the full collection, but now I do. Uh, also, I uh, picked up this Wenham versus Carnage number one. Uh, this is really cool. It's a very nice introduction. Uh, and, you know, I just really love all this uh, King and Black tie and stuff. So this was really neat to have. It's in very good condition. Uh, and I picked it up at a really good price, I think. Uh, next, we have... So, the Overstreet comic book uh, guide is... Before the internet, this is where you would get prices for comic books. Uh, so this is a bit of an old one. I picked it up because of the Batman art, of course. Uh, but... Uh, this is not the guide itself. The guide itself is much, much bigger because it had to encompass all the all the comic books that were out there and, you know, you could track their value. This is actually a book they would send out, like, to kind of, like, update some of the pricing. So any books that went through changes in, in price throughout the year, they would send this little yearbook out at the end of the year. So this one's really cool. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's got a it's got a lot of really interesting information and some cool articles. As you can see, this one's from 2014, 2015. Uh, so even though we already had the internet, like they would still publish these, and and you can buy these at your store. Like a lot of shops will have these. They come out every year. They have updated values uh, because comic book ch uh, prices change all the time. Now, this is the 2022, 2023. So they were having a sale uh, because they will get they they're getting the new one already for uh, 2024 2023. Uh, so these were half price. Uh, so it's just kind of a cool piece of history of comics. It's not something I normally buy, uh, but it has a great cover as well. And as you can see, a pretty thick book uh, because there's a lot of comics to keep track of uh, the value. So next, next, I went to Titan Comics where. I get most of my uh, weekly stuff um, apart from the other store. So I picked up this Hulk number one. Uh, this is the Infinite Order Vir Virgin Edition. It's a 9.8. I don't normally buy CGC books, but this cover by Gabriel Delato, uh, you know, I like that it's a virgin cover, so there's no text around it. Uh, it's a pretty high value 9.8. Uh, and you know, I think I got it at a pretty fair price. I checked online and For buying it there in the store in hand like it was a really good deal. Also, you know, this is uh, a Donny Cates book. So of course I wanted to check it out uh, And have something to remember this run that you know, even though it, it wasn't it probably didn't go according to plan It was something cool to have right? Uh, but but yeah great cover It's a really good grade from CGC uh, It's a uh, white pages. So really cool stuff and they had to special order this for me this is the batman one bad day uh collectible case so i'm actually going to open this one here because i need to put some books in it so if you remember a few months ago dc did the batman one bad day uh series of of one shots uh, this is all based on the work of like you know the Alan Moore story. So, as you can see here, we have, of course, the case itself, which is really cool. Uh, but it comes with, uh, this is just a filler thing until you can put your books in there. But it comes with a new hard case version of Batman, uh, The Killing Joke by Alan Moore and Brian Bolin, John Higgins, uh, which is great it's a really neat cover edition so this goes in here so this goes in the slip case and then you're supposed to put all these in there 
So this is, it comes also with this one. So you get uh, two books and this lip case for a pretty good price, I think. Uh, this is the Riddler one by Tom King and Mitch Gerrards, uh, which I love. Uh, also, I already had a copy of it, so I was I didn't I didn't realize this lip case would come with this one, but I'm still pretty happy about it. Uh, and then this week, uh, the Penguin one, the Batman one shot, the Penguin, came out by John Ridley and uh, Giuseppe Camuncoli. So that one also goes in here. And the Two Face one by Mariko Tanaki and Javier Fernandez. Uh, so that one also goes in here and as you can imagine there's four more books that will go in here this is such a cool thing they did one like this for uh, the Dark Knight 3 the Master Race uh, from you know from Frank Miller uh, and I think it was Brian Nazarello and Andy Kubert maybe but yeah I love these like it's such a fun way to collect comics uh, so like I said, it also comes with this little thing that's that's kind of a filler thing that I'll probably just keep around in my case. Um, and then the last thing, and hopefully you guys can see this, I also stopped by my shop, Sanctuary Comics. This one's in Irving, Las Colinas, Texas. Uh, and I got two cool things, two, and these were, Sean, the owner, is such a cool dude, and he just gave me this poster for uh the distillery this is a new comic uh creator uh creator own uh, comic imprint that's coming out soon this is their advertisement for the devil's cut so we got that poster which i'm very excited for i'll definitely you'll know there'll be a review for that and i also got this really cool poster for and i'll put a picture of it uh in the video like, but as you can see it's a, a blue beetle poster for the upcoming DC film uh, so yeah very cool yeah we uh, I'm very lucky that we have such cool shops in, in Dallas Fort Worth area uh, so I just you know I of course also picked up just my, my some of my pulls that were still missing I got a little preview for the the manga sampler uh, that's coming out pretty soon from DC Comics and just picked up some books for the week that I still need to pick up a nice facsimile you know some indie books these are these are a lot more indie books uh, my Marvel and DC stuff I had already picked up a lot of it I, I say that as I uh, this is a Nightblood uh, blank cover that very excited to get somebody to do a sketch or a commission on it um, so yeah not a not a bad day to be hanging around picking up comic book stuff uh so as always thanks for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most saturdays 10 a.m central standard time stay tuned we have more comic reviews trailer reactions tv recaps all that fun stuff here on the channel thanks for watching everyone